Okay, hi everyone. Uh, so, we're going to be looking at, from this book, step number two, question number 24. Okay, uh, this person privately messaged me uh, to ask me the question. So, I'm just going to confirm uh, that this is the question, right? Step two, question 24. Okay, okay. okay no reply from the person. So, I'm going to assume that it's correct. Uh. Oh, okay, already replied, right. Step two, question 24. Okay, so we have uh, the diagram that shows us uh, this. Okay, so over here, shows a rocket launched from point A, okay, and after the height of the water rocket, after T seconds in its launch is given by the equation that is given over here. Okay, point A is the origin and A, B is the horizontal line. Okay, and then the rocket takes nine seconds to reach B. So there's a lot of information that's being given to you here. Huh? Okay, I'm just going to pause and hold on for a while. Let me draw the whole thing in terms of coordinates. The biggest clue, okay, the biggest clue in this question, sorry, I did this, uh, step two, question 24. I think these people are asking, huh? Okay, step two, question 24. So the biggest clue that they actually gave to us in this question is that the a, the point A over here, is the origin, okay? Which means that our rocket launching is like this, okay? This is A, and this is B. And they give you the function, uh, HT, okay, the quadratic function, HT equals to minus T minus T squared plus Q, okay? Then, of course, the question is find the maximum height of the water uh, rocket can be achieved, uh, which is this one. Uh. Okay, now uh, think about this. Uh. If this function is ht, means the y axis is ht, okay, which is the height, the height function. And therefore, this must be t. And if you look at the other piece of information given to you in the question, the rocket takes 9 seconds to reach d, which means that this is saat yang kekosong. Okay, 0 seconds, and this is nine seconds okay this is uh, sorry, point a yeah? if i were to change it into coordinates uh, this would be zero okay and this would be nine and immediately i know uh, that because this is a quadratic function think of your face okay remember your face uh, if this is the max sorry if this is the maximum okay this right here is right in the middle the symmetric the axis of symmetry proxy symmetry okay which means that if this is zero and this is 9, okay, 0 and 9, and you know immediately yeah, that in the middle is 9 over 2, or 4.5, ah. you, you can use 4.5 or something. Okay. So I know ah, that in this case, my uh, x coordinate ah, for the maximum height, okay, the maximum height is, the time is 9 over 2, during the 4.5 seconds. So if t is 9 over 2, I can say that h 9 over 2 is equal to minus 9 over 2 minus p squared plus q. Okay, the first thing that I want to cover lah, is that. Okay, okay, so far. Okay, the first thing that we need to talk about. Well, I don't know what this maximum height is. Okay, I'm just going to leave it here for now. Huh? Max height. I don't know. I don't know what it is. Okay. But we have, cannot forget now that there are actually two other pieces of information given to us. We are given the origin and we are also given another point, which is 9 and 0, which makes it possible for us to find the values of P and Q. Okay. So if we think about it now, let's put it back here. Let's say I use this first point. This is 0 and 0. Okay. I'm going to put 0 here and 0 here. So 0 equals to minus 0 minus P squared plus Q. Okay? And if I bring this uh, across, uh, this one, 0 minus P squared will be P squared. Okay, minus P squared plus Q equals to 0. Therefore, P squared equals to Q. That's the piece of information you have. Okay? That's if I use this one. Lah. Okay? Secondly, if I use this one, the 9 and the 0, I still get the same thing. Okay, 0 equals to minus 9 minus p squared plus q. 
Oh, my white is not going to be enough space, but can we try and see? Okay, because my x coordinate or the t is still nine, my y coordinate is still zero. Okay, I can actually expand this. Okay, and then I can substitute this in. Okay, I'm going to do it. Uh, okay, you know what? I'm going to rub this off, and I'm going to make it a bit smaller. This one. Okay, let me write this here, huh? From this one, I'll get. 0 equals to minus 0 minus p squared plus q. So, yada 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 yada, I'll get p squared equals to q. Yes, as our maximum height is when the time is 9 divided by 2. Because the maximum point okay, in any uh, quadratic function divides the thing into 2. Okay? So, if let's say uh, this is 0 seconds, this is 9 seconds. Right in the middle will be 9 divided by 2. Okay, so uh, we need to understand how the quadratic function works. Sorry, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this. Okay, so I'm going to use the 9, 0 point. Okay, this is 9, 0. If I'm going to put it right in here, 0 equals to minus 9 minus t squared plus q. Okay, if I expand this, 0 equals to minus 81 minus 18t plus t squared. Plus Q. Okay, I'm going to do this. 0 equals to uh, minus 81 plus 18p minus t squared plus Q. And at the same time, we already know that from here, p squared equals to Q. Okay, or Q equals to p squared. Lah. Okay, but since I have a p over here, so it makes more sense for me to substitute Q. So I'm going to do this. Huh? 0 equals to minus 81 plus 18p. Minus p squared plus p squared, which will happen. This one will cancel itself out. Okay, when it cancel itself out, you'll get minus 81. Sorry, 0 equals to minus 81 plus 18p. Okay, and then I'll get p equals to uh, 81 over 18, which is 9 over 2. I think so. Yeah, 9 over 2. Okay, once I have p equals to 9 over 2, okay. Then I can get Q because Q is equal to P squared. So Q equals to 51 over 4. And once I have the P and the Q over here, I can substitute to find the maximum height. Okay? <laughs> I think some of you right now you're looking at me with this space is here. Okay, don't worry, don't worry. Okay, you can take a time, you can rewatch the video when I put it on YouTube. Okay, uh, and you can go through the working slowly. Okay, I'm just doing it quickly. Uh, Partly because I have no space in my whiteboard. Yeah, maybe I should change the whiteboard now. Okay, but anyway, uh, so now that I have the P and the Q, I can substitute in here. My maximum height will be minus 9 over 2 minus 9 over 2 squared. Because my P is 9 over 2. Okay, and this is the beautiful part of it. Lah. 9 over 2 minus 9 over 2 is 0. Okay, so this one is like gone at the plus 81 over 4. And when you calculate it, the maximum height. Okay, it's 81 over 4. Okay, which is about 20.25. The schema Jawapan says 20.25, which is the same as 81 over 4. Okay. So, sorry, yeah, this kind of working is all over the place. Huh? But uh, it involves a lot of things. Huh? Okay, Because the biggest question that we always need to ask is, what about the mortality in EP and in EQ? Okay, it's a very common question. How do we find this P in this Q? Never forget that there are actually two extra pieces of information that are available for you to use, which is the 0, 0 coordinate that can help you to find this, and the 9, 0 coordinate that can help you to, in the end, find P. When you find P, you can find Q, substitute it in, and then you get the final answer. Okay, take your time, uh, work through this. Maybe through the course of tomorrow. I know tomorrow is a Saturday and most people like their Saturdays off. But it's not like you're going anywhere. So <laughs> but to just stay home and uh, try to work this out. Actually, you find it it's perfect. Okay, thank you for the question. Uh, any more questions? Okay, somebody send to me privately. Okay, send to everyone, don't they? Send to me privately. Uh, set 2, question 25. Same set, but question number 25. Okay? 
So uh, while working to this, step two, question number 25, I'm going to say that this is the this is the percent. Percent means geometric progression. Okay, most likely to geometric progression. But I have to read the question first. Huh? Hold on. Okay. Uh, and so just in case anyone of you wants to check a photo of this before I rub it off, I'm going to give you a couple of seconds to do it. I'm not sure how it makes sense. Should I pull? Okay, so we're going to go into set two, question number 25. Okay, in a while, huh? as soon as I wrap all this off. Okay. Don't forget, huh, if you have a question to ask me, if you are too lazy to write it in the chat, okay, just uh, click on raise hand and then I will unmute you. Or maybe if you're itching to, you know, just raise your hand and then I will unmute you for a while. Okay, come if you have a valid question to ask me. Okay, step two, question 25. Okay, let's go through this now. So, an athlete runs the first kilometer in four minutes. Okay, his speed reduces in such a way that each kilometer takes 5% longer than his preceding mile. Uh, so, if you look at the preceding mile, it means kilometer before. Okay, that means the time takes 5% longer. Okay, so, if the first is 4 minutes, the next one is longer than 4 minutes. Now. Okay, then the question is find the total, uh, assuming that the length of the marathon is 26 kilometers, it's not a marathon, but fine. Find the total time in hours and minutes for him to complete the marathon, the so-called marathon. Marathon is 42, okay. but this is 26 minutes, so it's like half, half and plus twice marathon. So anyway, okay, so first kilometer takes four minutes. So we're going to assume that the progression is the time. Lock. Okay, so first one is four minutes. Uh, if you want, you can change it to seconds, but I don't think it's necessary. Okay, you can use point point if you want later. But because it increases, uh, okay, it increases. So uh, you're going to find that the second kilometer takes five percent more. So if five percent will be times one point zero five, uh, okay. So if it's times one point zero five, so I really need to. Okay, so uh, 4 times 1 times 0, 5. Okay, it's going to take 4.2. Okay, and then so on and so forth. Actually, I don't even need this, but fine. Uh, 4.41. Okay, and so on and so forth. It's obviously a geometric progression. Okay. Okay, can I put 1.05 because uh, 5%? Uh, then 5%, then you have to, on top of that, you have to add 1. Remember when you're doing, uh, how do I say this? When we're doing index numbers, okay, if it's 120, okay, so we use the increase is 20% because it's 1.20. Uh, okay, fine, 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 fine. If you don't want to do that, then we can manually do it. Lah, huh? uh, just to show you how it works, okay? So four, so if I'm gonna take 5% of four, okay, it will be uh, one over five is 0 0.2. So I add 0 0.2 to this to be 4.2. Okay, then 4.2 divided by four, which is the R, okay, you get 1.05. Okay, it's about five over 100. No, five over 100 is not 1.05. Uh, but yellow, okay. <laughs> if you want to do it that way, you can uh, 4.2 divided by four. Okay, it's 1.05. So I was just doing it a shortcut way. If I figure out if 5% is just 1.05. So if let's say the increase, huh? sorry, I'll sidetrack. If the increase is 10%, it will be 1.14 because 10%. If the increase is 15%, increase 15% will be 1.15. Okay. Guys, how do you think uh, your parents learn how to calculate the sales amount uh, in very quick time? Do you see shortcut method? Okay. That's how I was taught. So whenever I buy shoes, I use this idea, right? How about 30% discount, okay, 0.7, that's how I use it. Means the actual price of the shoe. Okay. 
Let's say the price of the shoe is 400 ringgit. Okay, who buys shoe for 400 ringgit? Lah, but fine. 400 ringgit pair of shoe. Let's say it's a 30% discount. Okay, 30% less means I need to pay 70% but I'm giving as I buy out. So it's just 0 0.7 times 400. Lah. Guys, it's not, uh, my grandmother taught me how to do this. <laughs> okay, my grandmother is not an MS teacher, okay? So please learn from your parents. Sometimes your parents are the best math calculators, especially when it comes to percent percent. Okay? Very simple one, this math, okay? Trust me, my grandmother taught me this. So anyway, let's come back from our uh, sidetrack. But thank you for the question, uh, uh, Okay. What is three hours plus plus? Anyway. Okay, so the R is 1.05 and you find that the A is 4. Okay, so if you have 26 kilometers altogether, you are going to find S26. You can do it manually, okay, which is 4, 4.2, and then so on and so forth until 26, and then you will total up the amount of time. Okay, to pull bullet. What the after this is what 4.41 makan. Okay, and then so on and so forth. You can go all the way at first kilometer, second kilometer, all the way at this 26 kilometers. By which time you will probably like uh, very bored of counting again. Or you can do the shortcut way, which is S26. Okay, S26. I'm going to remind you again the formula A1 minus R to the power n over 1 minus R. Or R minus Rn minus, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's say A is 4. This will be 1 minus 1.05 to the power of 26 over 1 minus 1.05. Okay. You can switch it the other way, 1.05 minus 1 as you can, or 1 point, uh, negative zero, oh sorry, 1.05 minus 1, doesn't matter. Okay, because in the end, the negative potential are there out. Sorry, uh, what is Leo saying? Uh, what's 26 M? 3 hours plus, uh, no, ah uh, yeah, 3 hours plus, correct. 3 hours plus for 26 kilometers is not too bad. Okay, so uh, anyway, the answer, I'm going to shortcut and this now. You figure this out, the answer is about 204.45. Uh, okay, 45 minutes. But who counts like this, like, right? You need to change this to hours. Like. Okay, how to change 204.45 minutes is you first divide by 60, and then the remainder you get. Like. So you will get about 3 hours and 24 minutes. Which is still pretty fast, okay? If you ask me, that. three hours for uh, twenty-four minutes uh, to run twenty-six kilometers is very fast, okay? But the key to understanding this is understanding the five percent, okay? I use one point zero five, uh, maybe because whenever I think percent, if it is increased, it's one point zero. If it is decreased, then I do it the other way around, okay? So it all this kind of small tips and tricks uh, that we learn uh, when going to the market with our grandmother. Okay, all these kind of things help us uh, okay, to understand why is it one point zero five. But if you're not sure, it's okay. Count manually, okay, then you find the R. Also doesn't matter. Okay, it's okay either way. But basically the question is asking you to find the total time which is why we're using S3. Okay? Thanks for the question. Uh, whoever they ask me. Sorry, uh, if I missed the question, it's probably because the chat went up so high that I missed the question. Like yesterday, Jeremiah was asking me a question and then I missed the whole question because a lot of people were talking along the way. Lah. Okay. Macam mana mau tahu bila mau pakai tu formula? I think some of the biggest clues can be found in the question. Okay, if you read the question properly, it says find the total time. That kind of means that you need to find everything. Okay. If I want a specific time, okay, I will just say find the time taken during the 25th kilometer company. Kilometer yang ke 25. Then it will have a time T25. Okay. But because I want to find the total time, so obviously I need to find the sum. Okay. Sometimes it's uh, thinking about uh, what the question wants okay, and how which formula we can use to apply to this question. Okay, somebody asked where can you get the mark? Okay, this is a three mark question. 
So the three mark question will be probably, if I see this, is one mark. Okay. The correct usage of the formula is another mark. And then the final answer in hours and minutes, now people. Okay. According to this schema, they don't accept the government comes back and read it. You need to give it in realistic time. Okay. You have never gone for a marathon uh, and then this is uh, the person has done a run for 204.45 minutes. Nobody will understand what it means. Okay, but people will understand when you say three hours and 24 minutes. Uh, that makes a lot more sense uh, to people. Okay, so I'm just telling you what the scheme says because the marking scheme says that this answer is not accepted. Well, open but those. Okay, but it's not accepted because uh, this is a more understandable one. Okay. Tapi, oh, okay. No, kalau ada kemusilan, tanya saja. Tapi, then. Yeah. All right. Thanks everyone for the question. Uh, any more questions that we want to talk about today? When you, when this movement control order is over, uh, what you should do is you should go for a scale. You bring a calculator there and then you try to figure out. Okay. Right. I think there's not like a four hundred dollar shoe, four hundred ringgit shoe, seventy percent sorry thirty percent discount. You pay seventy percent. If you pay 70% means it's 0.7. You know immediately how much you have to pay. Just use the calculator. Okay. Good practice. Go to toilet. Hey, go to toilet. Sorry. Go to market also is good practice. Okay. Yes. Thank you, Leo. Plus one. Ujian question. Which one? Song, I don't have the Ujian question this. Oh, the the UP1 question. Uh. Which UP1 question? I haven't finished marking because I've been so busy preparing for this. The more. No lah, so belum dapat balik lagi kertas bukan. I'm not gonna know because there's nothing for you to refer to. Kamu ada soalan tak? Sudah. Oh, the soalan is with me. Okay. Any more question? Any more question? Okay. Stop the show for a while.